Welcome back, everybody. Hey, talk about some craziness going on here. Trying to get everybody dialed in and wasn't letting me do the live stream. Whew. Getting way crazy in here. How you guys doing tonight? You guys doing good? Jumping on. Sorry about the mix-up on the live stream. It, uh, what's up, Max? What's up, Kai Kai? Teton, what's up, man? Yeah, thanks for being here. It's crazy because YouTube was, like, booting me off, and I, I think I had a hiccup with my Wi-Fi. What's up, Juan Diego? Big boar. Nicholas. I know, huh? What's up, Chris? Michael? Juan Diego from Chile. Nice. Thanks for joining. What's up, Dom? Yeah, Nicholas, it's going crazy here, man. I couldn't believe the internet I had a hiccup, and like it's the first time I've ever seen it. Like, literally say, "Sorry, you can't reconnect." I'm like, "Whoa, what's up, Stuart?" Happy Monday, everybody. Getting uh, getting my weekend updates here going. What's up, Scott? Hey, hey, double Scott in it right there. What's up, the Scots? Got a little uh, gear here. Oh, Nicholas, thanks, man. A little cup of joe. Got some stuff here. Uh, talked about it before, but this is from Garage Built Gear. And this is like their little med pouch. And it's pretty sweet. Really heavy-duty material that they use here. Kind of a cordura nylon. What's up, G-Man? Inside, you got a few pouches in here. Hey, Halden, what's happening? Is your internet working okay, Halden? Mine just had a huge hiccup. But you can put all sorts of things in here. I mean, you could make this like, I've thought about making this little sharpening kit. Oh, you got the Malibu today. Awesome. That's sweet. Yeah, it's been bad here too. We're trying to see what fits in here. What's up, Jeff? Oh, you got them. Nice. Yeah, buddy. Those red thumb studs are where it's at, man. I like that. But anyways, yeah, you can put, you can carry knives in here. You can carry pens you can carry all sorts of stuff make it a little kit for all your things you can also you know it's made for med you know a little med kit but i dig it you know 25 dollars on their website they're doing a lot of stuff right now oh nicholas you should buddy buddy you should totally like uh cancel it see if you can get your money back i'll go pick one up tomorrow in the morning and ship it to you <laughs> We'll take care of you, man. We'll take good care of you. Yeah, I don't know. That's the hard part is with a lot of their stuff, you know, a lot of their staff being out, they don't have a lot of people that are doing the stuff right away. So they're, they're you know, half staffed on some of that. So, but anyways, yeah, Garage Beer, uh, Bill Gear sent this stuff out to be checked out. So you're going to see it on my channel here. Some reviews coming up over the next week. Um, as you know, I took a little road trip this weekend. Uh, did a little surprise visit with Big Red. So hopefully you guys caught that. If not, please go back and watch the... Uh, sorry about the camera there. Yeah. Yeah, Big Red's awesome. Yeah, I know. Yeah, sorry about that, Nicholas. Hey, what's up, Big Red? Speaking of Big Red, yeah, catch that Saturday Night Live if you can. What's up, Ethan? It was a flipping awesome time, man. It was such a great surprise. What's up, Krista? Oh, you just got it? Dang, mine just cleared uh, customs on the East Coast, so I'm waiting for that to be shipped. Holy cow. What's up, Blade Banner? Everybody, Blade Banner's here. Got his new prototype knife coming out, so I can't wait to get that one shipped over and check it out and show it to you guys. Man, it was a great time. What's up, Reese? It was so awesome. Sorry, Nick Nicholas, I had to do it. Uh, but this is the MXG gear clip that I got. Real plain, carries deep. It's a ni it's very nice. I know the atom drop, huh? That's gonna be a good one. What's up, Michael? Yeah, sorry, it, it didn't work really good this weekend because I was out. You know, uh, the international bug outs are red and black one. So red scales. Let me see if I can find something close. I got a few bug outs here. What's up, Ace Tone? Acetone. Tone. 
So it's going to look really similar to this one, but a little brighter red. Uh, black blade, black hardware, black thumb studs. Um, and I'm, I'm trying to remember if it, I think it has the red hardware, right? The barrel spacers. I'll have to double check that. Or maybe it's got black, black with red scales, but kind of like fire engine red. It's pretty sweet. That's the international uh, bench made this year. So I had to get mine shipped in from Germany. And then I was so bummed because like the next day they had one. So yeah, pretty similar to what they had going on here. This is the battle wash bug out. So really close to this. Oh no, I'm sorry, Jack. That's a bummer deal. Yeah, black with red scales. So pretty cool. It'd be great to see. Be a great addition to the collection. You know, I got a few bug outs, so... I'm always excited to get another one and throw it in the, the collection. Yeah, the red thumb stud. Okay, cool. Right on. But yeah, I did want to. I did want to show this off. This is the med pack from uh, Garage Built Gear, GarageBuiltGear.com. What's up, Triple E? Uh, you'll be seeing a review coming up on this. I'll also be doing a giveaway with some of this stuff. Um, I'm gonna, you know. They haven't 100% said they're going to give it away, but if not, then I'm going to buy it because there's some pretty cool stuff going on here. So, hey, hey, what's up, Chad? All right, sounds good, Jack. I appreciate it, man. Yeah, so anyway, so we're going to put this off to the side. Uh, we'll leave this up here. I want to go over a few things that you know, basically got sent in. What's up, Brandon? Brandon, what's happening? Um, yeah, the, the colors are really nice, you know. The titanium is super amazing. Got a little bit on mine, but you got your 20 CV, and then it's just crazy. I mean, if you hold it down the whole way, it'll it'll chop those little fingertips off. So you gotta be careful. But yeah, so it's pretty cool, you know. We got a couple knives dropping. Sounds like the Adams coming up. What's up, Larry? We also got uh, the banter dropping soon. I don't know if you guys are gonna get in on that at all, but. I want to go for the blue one, so that'd be pretty sweet. But I wanted to go over a few things that people sent in over the last couple weeks. Kind of like uh, subscriber, fan mail, and then just gifts from friends. Um, I, I do want to show this first, though, because the really cool part about my trip to see Big Red and the surprise was really cool because... Oh, congratulations, Chad. Happy early birthday. Uh, what's up, fam cam? Bill's here. Oh, yeah. The banter. Heck, yeah. The really cool part about it was, um, you know, hey, what's up, Ryan? Hey, what's up, Aubrey? Was really seeing uh, Big Red, his family, um, just again, you know, um, meeting other family members of his and just spending a few hours with them afterwards. I mean, we stayed up really late, so... Anyways, uh, I was gifted a knife, um, you know, and it means a lot to me. So, oh, congratulations, Nicholas. So this one, I don't know if you guys recognize this. This is an old school Benchmade classic. Yeah. And this, you know, I, I don't have one of these at all until now. Um, and so I have, to, I have to say thank you. You know, it's a push button auto. You know, it's in 154 cm. Got some serrations on it. You know, carries a couple different ways. Big red in his natural habitat. It's nice, you know. It's one of those that I really, I just like it. So, Big Red, thank you, my man. This is an awesome gift. He put a bench made that I didn't have into my hand. So, it's hard to do, and I really appreciate it. So... Much love, man. I appreciate it. I had a blast, and I think we definitely need to talk about that road trip, you know? Definitely need to talk about that road trip. So, pretty cool. So, we're going to leave this out up here. Oh, yeah. Very snappy. So strong. And they still warranty them, too, so. Oh, you got the new bailout right on. Heck, yeah, man. Score one for Big Red. That's awesome. I love it. So, yeah. So, another thing that got sent in. And we're going we're gonna to probably walk through this tonight, but um, a, a good friend of ours of the channel, Josh, he sent me a nice little note. 
and he sent me some scales. You know, I had mentioned about doing uh, a little, so he sent me this note, handwritten note, so pretty cool. But he sent me these scales right here. for the, What's up, CK? For the mini bug out. Uh, you know, Josh basically just said, thank you for all your awesome videos. I've carried a pocket knife for years. I've already gotten into knives in the past year when I bought a mini grip. Um, when he bought it, started a Benchmade craze for him. Uh, in the span of eight months, he's bought six or more Benchmade. So that's pretty cool. And uh, what's up, Jack? Oh, nice. That's cool. Uh, he loves all of them. Thinking about getting the bail out for a little while, but still don't know though. That was a little bit of my knife story. Enjoyed the mini bug out scales. Can't wait to see uh, them back on a knife again. So Josh, thank you so much, man. Uh, if you're not here, I hope you see this. I'll send you a link to this anyways. But you know what we're gonna do? In true orange and black fashion, we're gonna we're gonna put these on this bad boy. So we're gonna have black blade, black hardware. I'm digging that. So anyways, we'll be doing that here soon. Maybe tonight, maybe a different night. We'll see how tonight goes. I don't like this camera, so sorry, I gotta keep moving it. What's up, Scott? Anyways, thanks again, Josh. I much appreciate it. So cool, just, you know, people are like, hey, you know what, I got these extra, because they put some aftermarket scales on there. Um, it's amazing. Um, you know, we know that Nicholas sent in this bailout, and by the way, it needs a new access bar. But he sent in this bailout. So, Nicholas, thank you so much. This is going to Dane. He won that in our um, giveaway. So, it was pretty awesome. What's up, BJ? And that's one of those things that it's amazing, man. So, it's in getting serviced right now, getting a spa treatment, getting a new uh, access bar. You know, if you guys want to see the new bailout, here's my version of it. It's a pretty nice one. I like it. I mean, you can't beat the aluminum scales, the M4, all that. And then here's that. It's number seven of 500. I mean, just saying, you know. One of the last, like, runs that they actually put numbers on. So that's kind of cool, too. Now they're just going to be labeled first production. So anyways, Nicholas, really appreciate that, man. That was so awesome of you to do that because, it, you know, it gives back to my subscribers, which is what I love doing. So what's up, Tom? Uh, we're going to go with another thing that got sent in, and this is from our good, good friend at Artisan Cutlery, and that is Russell. And if, you, if you've if you never met Russell, I really encourage you to go to a show and go to um, Artisan Cutlery's booth, or CJRB, because he's a hoot, man. And Big Red, you can probably attest to that, and anybody else. Russell's awesome, man, you know, um, but Russell sent this out. Yeah, Jeff, you have to order one of those bug outs from an international dealer or keep your eyes peeled on eBay. But I was bummed because the day after I bought mine, somebody posted on eBay for the same price. But Russell's awesome. He sent this Centauri out to me, carbon fiber in S35 VN. Amazing milling on these. I gotta be careful. It's so sharp. It's like cutting into my finger right there. <laughs> Big red. You know what I'm talking about. What's up, Justin? OCD for EDCs here. What's happening? Yeah. So the basically the international one is the uh, red scale black hardware black blade bug out. Full size bug out. It's an international version. I think it's 535 2001. But yeah, so ours and this one's amazing. I'm still getting down the, the thumb a little harder on camera, but this one, definitely be carrying this one tomorrow. So look for it on Instagram. It's going to be a beauty. Um, so Russell, thank you so much for sending this out. But he sent another one that I was like after for a long time. Yeah, exactly, Big Red. They are so sharp. And it's from CJRB. And it's one of those that is... It's pretty awesome. Um, and I don't know if you guys saw my review on it, but he sent me a prototype one. And this is one that I had seen at the Blade Show West. And because he's just like a super good dude, he's like, hey man, he was gonna get it to me at the beginning of the year. And then he's like, oh, SHOT Show, I'm gonna take it there. And then after SHOT Show, 
Everybody got sick and they shut everything down. But check this one out. Yeah, that would be cool, Tripoli, if they do that. Yeah. Yeah, Chad, I was looking for that one, so. Oh, wow, Larry, crazy RN, huh? All right, man, I'll talk to you later. Oh, you got the rock scales? Nice. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, Mikey, good call. It's the Gobi. Oh, thanks, Nicholas. This is an amazing one. Now, this is CJRB. Yeah, Brandon. Oh, man, Nicholas, thanks. And the colors... They're my colors, man. They're, it's like this lime green accents and backspacer. A little bit of a lanyard hole on it. You can flip the clip to either side. Deep pocket carry. To me, I love the feel of this. Now, I bought another one and when I was there. And it was awesome. So, hey, what's up, Slicey? What's going down, man? We're just showing off some knives that got sent in. Nah, thanks, Nicholas. Yeah, Jack, go ahead, man. Go ahead. But anyways, this is amazing, man. It's G10, blue and black G10. It's contoured. It's nice. Yeah, the Centauri is pretty sweet. So I see. Yeah, I got this one from uh, Artisan from Russell, and it was like he sent the uh, S35VN one because I tried out the Damasteel one in the pass around, and so he sent me this one. It's pretty cool. But super crazy sharp, and the grinds are amazing. It's like slicey. It's like made for his channel. Oh, Big Red, thanks, man. You don't have to do that. Yeah, the McCarter one of it was sweet version. That was a sweet, sweet version. So. Oh, that's wonderful. What's up, CG? Yeah, Big Red, man, throwing it down. So anyways, this this is uh, the Gobi from CJRB. This is a prototype. It's one that he sent over to me. It's pretty sweet. Um, I've been, you know, like I said, I saw it at Blade Show West, which was last October. And he was going to, you know, send it my way. And then after SHOT Show, and then everybody got quarantined. And so he's like, all right, we'll get it to you as soon as the, he can get to the post office. And he did. But, you know, if you know Russell... It, it takes a few, but he, he delivers. So that's pretty cool of him. So anyways, yeah, so let's look at something else here. I got a really, I'm going to clear a little bit of room. So I'll maybe move these out of the way because I got a really special knife that I want to show you guys. That's actually really, really awesome. And it's, uh, <laughs> thanks Nicholas, dude, man, your support is amazing, man. Seriously. Seriously amazing. Oh, thanks, Chris. Oh, you got copper scales? Oh, for the proper. Yes. And I think oh, I only have the titanium ones on mine. The copper is going to look nice on there. I uh, I did a trade for my copper scales for my proper. I haven't got my other end of the trade back, but it's all good. I know where he works, so. Getting hot in here. So let me know if you guys have seen this company right here. I'm going to slide this box out here. And I want your opinion. Yeah, Deadpool. Hey, what's up, man? Yeah, Live PD's canceled, man. They canceled that right up. You know, they got involved in some stuff, so. Uh, yeah, so the knife uh, Big Red gave me. Yeah, what's in the box? Heck yeah. So have you guys heard of Forsetti Steel? Let me know. Let me know if you have, because I never heard of them, and I did some research and checked it out, and it's they're cool stuff. Now they are from Utah, I believe, and let me pull it up here, because this one's called the Barca, B A R C A, and you can just go to ForsettiSteel.com. F O R s-e-t-i steel.com but this one's called the barca and it's normally 130 bucks it's on sale for i think 97 and change right now so let's take a look at it 
So this is this is coming straight out of the package from them. They shipped it with like crazy bubble wrap in kind of a long two box. Nicholas, thanks, man. Dude, that's so wild. It's like playing the playing the drums on the stuff there. Lifetime warranty, small batch. He's got handmade. They're handmade knives. So there's a there's a quick look if you want to just pause it real quick if you're doing the playback, but. Pretty cool stuff, and they've been in business since 2015. Look at this knife. I gotta get all the shavings off of it. I, I gotta, I might have to get my canned air here. Hold on. Yeah, show some love. Heck yeah. Nicholas, I think you're winning the game, buddy. Yeah, it's beautiful. It comes with this. I'm digging it out of the bottom. It comes with it. Oh, thanks, Jeff. Comes with this beautiful leather carrying case as well. But it's a folding knife. They do a lot of fixed blades, folding knives, things like that. All of their knives are Damascus steel. Um, and I'll pull up the specs on this one in just a second. I'm just let me get my canned air here. Yeah, buddy. Thanks, Nicholas. Yeah, you got it going, man. Well, me. Oh, it's right here. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Sorry for the loud noises, you guys. But I gotta make it pretty. Gotta make it pretty for you. Yeah, so it's pretty sweet. So let's get things straightened up here. So the blade, and this is the first time I've opened the box. So, and you can see the liners too. The liners are amazing. And they're inset in here. Let me let me see the action here. Hold on. It's smooth. It's not drop shutty. More like traditional feel to it. It's a buffalo bone handle. Hand carved. Pretty nice. Yeah, way nice. They jeweled the liners. Yeah, so it's got, yeah, exactly. Thanks for posting that. I appreciate that. It's, uh, you know, the $95 for 1095 Damascus. And then they layer it with the 15N20. Yep. So it's amazing. So this is the Barca, B-A-R-C-A, -A, from Forsetti Steel. And they're out of Utah. All the stuff's made here. It's pretty awesome. So... Anyways, I'm going to be doing a review on it, but they sent this one out. They wanted it to be checked out. I'm going to send it around to a few other channels as well. Just because I think it's, it's, they're really unique knives, you know? Um, but yeah, so this one's a really nice custom gift. I don't know. It's a pretty one. Definitely slicey, a pretty one. I don't know if I would do the bone carved handles myself. Because they make some really sweet handle material on there. Detent's pretty good. You know, it's locked up about 30%, 35% maybe of the blade. It's probably hard to show you there. Yep, Barca by Forsetti Steel. So, anyways, it's a pretty awesome one. Yeah, there you go, Jack. So Buffalo bone on the scales. Yeah. And that's the thing. Like they make so many different styles and it's normally 130. They're doing a sale right now, which I didn't know until I pulled up the website tonight. So yeah, it's pretty early, but I would imagine it breaks in a little bit and the way it's, they said the way it's milled out. Yeah. I get the extra insurance is you can operate it two handed um, for lefties, but I don't know. I mean, obviously with the dual thumb studs, you know, lefty can deploy it just fine, but closing it, you're going to have to cross over. So that's the only negative to the lefties, but. Oh, you just ordered a knife that's on this table. 
Oh, snap. I bet I know which one it is. Hmm. Maybe we'll see one sooner than later. But anyways, yeah, I'm going to try it out. Give it a whirl. Looks like really nice. Haha, <laughs> rhymes with Phantom. I know, huh? Yeah, I was actually it was actually a sad day, Slicey, when, when I saw that one be sold. I was sad. But that's me, you know. No way. Nicholas. Yeah, do you do something kind for someone? Zach twenty twenty, heck yeah. That's crazy. What is going on here, huh? It was a sad day. Oh, that's cool, Hollywood Tactical. Hey, Randy, what's up, man? Oh, okay. I appreciate you stopping in, man. That's awesome. Oh, be nice to the cats, man. Be nice to the cats. Even though they're doing that. Yeah, I was thinking about Patreon, but I didn't know what you guys want to see on there. So, you know, I know Nicholas has a whole bunch of ideas, and I think we're going to roll with them. And I know Big Red wants to, you know, I think he is was on board with it. Hey, Neon Dreams, good night, man. I think he was on board with doing the uh, RV tour for a month. That'd be pretty sweet. Anyways, this is definitely something that's outside my norm. So it's kind of cool they sent it out to be checked out. But for Seti Steel, thank you so much. Oh, there you go. Okay. Yeah, Nicholas has got his coming. The anthem on those little thrust bearings. Smooth. Yeah, they got some good stuff coming out. You know, I really like the action. Hey, Ohio, what's up, man? Thanks. Hey, thanks for jumping in, man. That's so awesome. It's cool when even people just jump in. You know, I know everybody's so busy. I'm, I'm the same way, but I try to jump in on all the lives of all my friends and everything. You guys see me in there, too. Um, but, yeah, it's pretty cool stuff. Oh, you have one cat that bites and scratches? Huh, that's weird. That's crazy. And then we got another one from our friend Brandon. Hey, thanks, Benny. Appreciate it. We got another one from our friend Brandon. I don't know if Brandon's here tonight. Friend Brandon from North Carolina. But I'm just opening it up right now because it's a pretty special one. And there's some caveats that come with it. But, <laughs> that's awesome. Oh, that's too funny. Dude, he even sent, like, stuff to be safe, you know? A mask and stuff. It's all good. Let me see what his letter says here real quick. Maybe he says I can't show it on here. That'd be my week, huh? Ah, it breaks the knives down. Okay, okay. Man, Brewer95, man. Brewer95. It's our guy, Brandon. He sent me... This will be my second. What's up, What's up, Chris? Oh, nice. You got the blue bags back. Okay, nice. Right on. Boney, what's happening? This is pretty cool stuff. But... I don't know if you guys have ever seen this before. What do you guys think of this one? You guys recognize this one? It's got red accents. Yeah, Chad, it's the AFO. Sorry. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, he sent me an awesome one. 0450, yeah. And I don't understand why they have such big boxes for their knives, but. Oh, man. Look at that. We crashed and burned. You guys still with me? <laughs> Holy cow. That was amazing. 
amazingly not tripod everything bam there we go <laughs> well we're back it just it, that figures with my my day with youtube earlier it was tripping out big time it was dangerous yeah west coast buddy that's what i'm talking about those west coast quakes all right well let's look at this one yeah dude nicholas is awesome but this i've never seen this one before except for i think they made a carbon fiber version didn't they the 0450 Did they make it with carbon fiber handles i'm not a zt guy man so i need your guys's help now it's used but he sent this to me it's like the perfect <laughs> thanks nicholas yeah exactly big red camera down thanks triple e but i'm gonna have to try this out Yeah, Nicholas is good. Good guy, man. I appreciate all your support, man. But this fits really good for me. So I think Brewer95 knew what's up. He knew my choices, and he's trying to convert me. I need more. Oh, Boney, you have the carbon fiber one? What do you think of it? Because this, to me, looks like it's titanium. What's up, Mean Gene? But pretty awesome. Sinkovich. S35VN. I think it's got a nice edge on it. Eh, I could use a little sharpening, but. Nicholas is a very awesome supporter of my channel and others and a great member of the knife community. He's the one that also donated the Benchmade bailout that we gave away last week. What's the FDE Ritter? I think my tripod's messed up. That's why it's all messed up tonight. Sorry about that, guys. Yeah. What's up, Jeff? Oh, Jeff, thanks, man. That's awesome. I do want to show off one of these beauties, though. I got a few of them to review. Big Red and Big Red passed them on to me when I was up visiting his uh, his humble abode, which, by the way, was a blast. Thank you, man. It's it's all the community, man. We make each other better, you know. That's the awesome part about it. Oh, you have G10 and titanium. It's good. Okay, cool, Ben. Nice. Okay. Anyone recognize this? Deep pocket. Now. Oh. That came out like a dream. Damn designs and D2. Yeah, buddy. G10, the blue G10. Oh, yeah. Liner lock. Orange or flat earth ritter. Oh, I have the orange mini and the black full size. The oh Benny, we're getting that. It's next on the list here. The Dijin. Dijin? 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 I love it. I mean, for this. Yeah, uh, I think Nick. Uh, our our uncle Nick Shabazz just got his today from Ben in the mail as an early present. And the other one should be coming, uh, he said, end of June. So I'm thinking in the next week or so. Trust me, we'll all know about it. Ben's really good at the marketing side of it. So we and I hopefully made a whole bunch of them. Oh, Triple E's out. All right, buddy. I appreciate it, man. Thank you for all the support, seriously. But yeah, this DJ is nice. I mean, this for me... I mean, it's only going to get like two here, a third finger. I'm at to, oh, you know what that means, you guys. I'm at to put a lanyard on it. <laughs> yeah, that must be it. But deep pocket carry, this one is perfect. So 
we're just going to move all this stuff out of the way. We'll put the anthem off to the side, a little closed up. We've got to be safety here, you know. Safety first. Oh, the D is silent, so it's just gin. Okay. Well, I'm glad I asked because that would have been embarrassing. I would Adrian would have like came over to my house or something and gave me a big hug. <laughs> oh, you've been trying to trade for a super freak for a while. Oh, nice. Hey, what's up, Rip City? Rip City EDCs in the house. That's cool, man. I'm liking the ZT. Brewer ninety five was right, man. All right, we got some questions on a couple knives. We got a mini freak. Where's my little tray here? A tray of some other things. And then I got a box here that you guys want to see. Let's see, where's that tray? Yeah, no kidding, huh? That would be a crazy surprise. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm working tonight. Yeah, 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 I've heard that before, eh? <laughs> What's up, Matt Wong? And then here's this one right here. Yeah, Jeff, they're really nice. Oh, what'd you say, Nicholas? One store tire is pretty sharp. Oh, really? They were too busy selling guns. That's a bummer. Yeah, and if you guys see... I don't have it here with me, I don't think. Let me look. So I'm looking for one more of these also. I had some some people contact me and it was like, oh, hey, I want to trade you for one. Okay. And then I was like, what do you want to trade? And they're like, uh, I'm not sure. Maybe this, this, or this. I'm like, well, I'll put a list together, you know. And then, you know, next day it's like, oh, sorry, I traded somebody else. <laughs> All right. So a couple of like false leads, but they're, they're, they said they're helping me look for another one right now. So. If you find one that's not like $500, let me know. But we'll get this meat crafter out here because we'll get some beauty on the on the table. Wednesday, I think Wednesday or Thursday I'll be down there. Yeah, 450 is still pretty steep. I mean, it's $200 over MSRP for the dealer that got a knife for free. But I know a lot of dealers have been selling them for more, so... That's on them and their contract. They can deal with Benchmade on it. Oh, you had your mini RSK? Oh, on pre-order? Nice. Yeah, this is the Meat Crafter, man. It's full of beauty. S45VN. It's got a 14-degree angle. Yeah, it'd be really good fish filet. Meat crafting. That's what you call it now? All right, all right, touche, that's good. I like that. But pretty awesome sheath. It's really good, so. Oh, really? You saw one go for 325 Dang, Chad. I might have bought that one. Yeah, that 2001, that's a really good price on that one. But yeah, Meat Crafter. Now I'm going to show it on this table. I'm going to move these knives here really quick. Because I want to show you the flex on this blade. If I can get it on camera. Put this, they put this dangerous knife away here. That artisan color is crazy. So yeah, so let, let me show you this flex. So can you see that flex right there? That's a crazy amount of flex. So. Crazy. So really good boning, really good meat processing, meat crafting. Yeah, first S45 VN knife. Steve Ravella. Signature edition. G10, ivory G10, little pop of orange. You know, I did a review on it. Big Red just posted his first impressions on it. Some good stuff. So, yeah, I think MSRP is in the 300s. Uh, you can pick it up for under that on some of your knife, knife uh, distributors. I don't know if Southern Edge got it or not yet. Maybe Chad can let us know. Maybe get a little bit of a discount on that. But yeah, this one, if you, I mean, seriously, you know, it's a beauty, like no matter what. But if you process meat, if you do anything with meat, 
that is what you need. So my trip's going to be like Wednesday or Thursday down to the butcher and I'm going to get some things to do a little slicing with. So haven't seen them drop at the dealers yet. Okay. I know they just went out on, they did another push on email today. So here you out S 45 VN frame lock titanium. That would be amazing. Yeah. I know the meat crafter. It's a, I'll tell you what. Now, seriously, let me just tell you this. This I, I knew this one was coming out. I saw what they were working on. It's pretty sweet stuff. Then they, they post up some of the stuff they're doing on this. And I'll tell you, it's just one of those where it just, I mean, honestly, as thin as it is, you get it in your hand and you're just like, I'm, I'm ready to go cut some stuff, you know? Um, you know, you're processing vegetables, meat, all sorts of stuff, you know, your family's like, what got into you? Right. But yeah, that flex, seriously, I mean, crazy flex. So you can't do that with too many knives, but they, you know, they have a new system. It's a trademark select edge and it's basically, it helps them put that real thin slicey edge on there. That's, you know, it takes all the, I guess human element out of it yeah chad steve did a great he processed a whole bunch of stuff and did some videos on it so yeah so anyways um that's how it goes with that you know yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna be doing a video with processing that meat this week so here's the uh if you saw the saturday knife live from big red you saw a comparison we did on these two um also in my video i did a comparison this is the Mini RSK Ritter. Mini Ritter. Just call it the Hogue Mini Ritter for short. Um, but 20 CV. And I have to say, with the, the, the G10 and that pattern, I like this one. You know? And that's one of those that, you know, over this. I mean, this has the smooth carbon fiber. I mean, this one's an amazing knife. For the money... I mean, you have S90V carbon fiber here, and you have 20CV and G10 here. The money's right here. I mean, you can't beat a budget knife right here at all. But this is the one that I've wanted for a long time. I even built one similar, so I had to get this one. But yeah. Anyways, that's the comparison of those two. I'm still loving this one, you guys. I might have to get the carbon fiber one now. What's up, Joe? Tyler, what's happening? Yeah, you got to get one to go with your Super Freak. Heck yeah. The Super Freak. Which, you know, kind of matches a little bit. Super Freak, red and red. Yeah, I thought about it, and it's amazing. So, Brewer95, thanks again for sending that out. Now I'm going to have to buy the carbon fiber one or something. I I seriously, this is like one of the only ZTs that I've liked. With, like seriously hands on with it. Hey, stud fishing. Have a good night. Thank you very much. Yeah, I need to find the carbon fiber version and try it out. Oh, Carlos is here. What's up, Carlos? I totally miss Carlos. What's up, man? Yeah, see, I didn't even know that. Like, I mean, seriously, I have that zero, that zero two three zero, their little slip joint from last October. Um, that's the thing. I, you know, I still haven't reviewed it. Hey, good night, Den. Thanks for stopping by. I love Carlos's post, by the way. Carlos EDC. You don't follow him on Instagram. What was that, Nicholas? <laughs> You're talking about the the pocket something. Nick says it's a pocket. Oh, poking everything in your pocket. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that, that's the thing that I'll have to try out. I mean, you can't beat the pop of red, though. I mean, it's good stuff. The zero 05, I don't even know what the 0562 is. You guys are talking like a whole other language. I'm going to have to get one of those books and learn zero tolerance now. Yeah, and Uncle Nick... Uncle Nick Shabazz. 
Yeah, Super Freak versions, they're going to have to step that one up big time. Big time, big time. Yeah, so you guys have any questions, knives you want to see? I have a whole bunch more of the uh, the damn designs. This is the Jin. Is that right, Big Red? Jin. Say it like the the drink. I really like the orange, but that's me. Zero five six two ZT version of the Hinder XM eighteen. Oh, okay, okay. I gotcha. Yeah, Steven, I I like the orange, but that's me. Star, wouldn't that be funny if he was just like a extra, like a reflection in the mirror? Oh, really? Yeah, the action, huh? Hmm. Okay. Yeah, Jin. Okay. Free falling. Free falling. Yeah, the action on mine's pretty good. I don't know. I think I have the. Oh, uh, I didn't bring the full size one in here with me tonight. Yeah. Otters and Cullery Auto Bally. Uh, Auto Bally. They, they have that one that's uh, the bottle opener one. Who would win in a fist fight? 940 versus the Anthem. Ooh. Nine forty or the anthem, like Django. The D is silent. The Django. All right, we'll put these up here. Yeah, that was my question. That's that's my one big question, Nicholas. Are we talking the titanium nine forty, or are we talking the? Anthem versus two. Okay, okay, two thousand one. So Chad said, "Let me see if I have it here." Where did mine go? Can't even show it off. Wow. Special, eh? Well, here's this one. That's an easy one. But I would say if it was, hmm. I really so I really like the action and the bearings on the Anthem better than the standard washers on the Axis Lock. And I don't know if you guys have seen the system inside, but it's not your standard setup. I mean, there's your spring. Cuz this is all one piece of titanium that's milled out. It's only held in by these two screws right here. So, I would have to say probably the Anthem, but with the MXG deep pocket carry clip. <laughs> but they're both pretty similar. I'm super bummed I don't have my 2001 in here with me. And I grabbed like a whole mess of my 940s too, but... Oh, actually, you know what? It's in a different knife bag. Hold on. We can do a true comparison that way. What's up? What's up, Blade Banner's back? Yeah, you gotta have that clip, definitely. And I missed a question up here, hold on. Oh, Kai Kai, that's nice, thank you so much. I appreciate the offer, the attempt to send money. That was very nice of you, Super Chat. Well, maybe I don't just have it. You'll trade it for net just now, just now. <laughs> I'm a fan, thanks man. You can't see the fight in your mind. Now, I missed a question back here. I think it was on a super chat. Hold on just a second here. Those are two. What do you store your knives in? Oh, good question, Jeff. So I have a couple of them. Don't tell, but I have the ZT bag that's amazing. And let me show you why. It holds so many knives, and it's got a center pouch, and then it's got all these down through here. And then it's got a whole nother side over here. I love the way that bag carries. Oh, you found one the other day in Elementum and Micarta? That's nice. 
And then, of course, I got my Benchmade bag. I got a couple of those. One that just has bug outs. And then I got my Blade HQ bag. And then I got a couple others. Random ones here and there. Yeah, there are some Benchmades in there. Oh, Jack, you're on the road. Oh, sorry about the AC, man. That's a bummer. Oh, it was in there? I'll have to look. Oh, you got some Blade HQ bags too? Did anybody buy that really big, long one? The one that held like 50 knives or whatever? Yeah, Chad, I'll have to look. I was trying to look, but I don't think... I don't think it's in here. I think the one you saw that looked close was this one. Was the rock scale design 940. And I have to say the way they, that he mills that with the contoured scale and everything, you can't beat it. Oh, you're looking for the 601? That fantastic flipper? Hold on just a second. Let me see if I got it. Oh, you saw red spacers? Man, you're good if you saw red spacers. Oh, oh, you saw this one. You saw this one sticking up. It's the uh, fact in the uh, silver twill carbon fiber shot show fact from 2019, which is a hot one. It's hotness. It's fantastic. Yeah, those sold quick, Hollywood. Yeah, Holden, I sent it off to Metal Complex, but I got it back from him. <laughs> he sent it back. He did. I just can't find it. I don't know why. I think I know why. I think it's tucked into one of these containers here. Hold on. Yeah, have you guys ever bought some of these little zippered pouches? I think it's in one of those. So let's see. You guys want to see how to request for the, the 601. What's up, Gregory? Thanks. Uh, yeah, you could build this this rock scale uh, cheaper than the 201. And, of course, I put the extra titanium backspacer on it, but even the standard barrel spacers look good. I want to I wanna rebuild this one, I think, and do colored barrel spacers and a different uh, set of thumb studs. But here's that Tengu flipper. I know we kind of looked at that one, too, on Big Red's channel. Oh, there you go. Justin said the Swayback's now shipping from Spyderco. Yeah, so Tyler, uh, check his website. Uh, usually like Thursday or Friday of each week, he goes with the Saturday noon Pacific drop. So he, he builds all his product all week long, and then every Saturday he posts new product. So every category gets new material usually. So... I was just looking at his website earlier today, actually, and uh, was looking at the mini bug out products, and they're not in stock, but it says that the next drop's coming up. So, Tengu Flipper 601, pretty sweet. Yeah, it's smaller than you thought, definitely. Um, yeah, the Anthem's hot. Anthem's hot. Uh, what's a good comparison? Here's the Mini Freak compared to it. Everybody wants that sway back. That's a hot one. Yeah, this is a, you know, uh, it's designed with uh, Oser. You know, he makes the, the one I want to get, though, he makes a slip joint version of these, I think, of his customs. What's up, August? How you doing? And the slip joint, you know, whew, amazing. These liners are hard for me because there's no cutout. I mean, it's. It's, it's totally flush. You know, a tiny smidge sticks up, so you kind of really have to dig in there to get it, but you got a small enough knife, so it's going for it anyways, but... Big Red found out you really have to get on top of that flipper because there's not much in there, but... Uh, I don't think it's a flipper. I think it's just the regular 
like two-handed, you pull it out kind of a thing. The one I saw. He's got a bunch of different models, but. All right, let's look for that titanium one. We'll probably never find it. SOCP, that's a nice one. Another nice one that's out there is this TRM. They're doing another drop, I hear. And this is the blue carbon fiber scales. And these are textured, so it's it's amazing texture. If you guys have ever felt these, it's fantastic. I wish there was like a feel version. You could put on like gloves and feel this because it's amazing. Oh, Nicholas. Bombing with the question. Okay. That Tom Brady or Joe Montana. Fourth and goal. Did we have a second count or a yard line? What did we have? Fourth and goal. No. Fourth and 12 on the goal line. Oof. Man. Well, we know Joe's not a runner. Neither is Tom. But I would I I would go with Joe, man. <laughs> Justin only with the right coach. Yeah, exactly. And that's one of those things, you know. I think uh, I would probably go with Joe. Fourth down, twelve yards. I would go with Joe. I grew up watching Joe. I mean, I've watched you know. Tom as well, but it's like, come on now. Here we go. The, you know why I couldn't find it? I put it with my stuff that I took up to Big Reds. Big Red and I were checking it out. So here's your comparison of these three. Oh, you got to go? All right, Steven. Thanks for dropping in, man. I appreciate that. Yeah, ball, ball pressure is a, a definite must. So we have titanium on all three of these right here. What's up, Morgan? Morgan donated something too to the channel. You're gonna see coming up. I did a little, a little bit on it, but all three of these are titanium. Different types. Yeah, I mean, I don't want to be peer pressure. I just want to show you guys some of my collection that I have. You know, it's pretty cool stuff. Oh, you got the 940-2. I love the 940-2. Even the even the one they did with REI is awesome, so. But I mean, I have to give it for the milling cuz these are smooth. But Yeah, you looking for new toys? The toy show. I like the Popper Red. Oh, all right, Brandon. Good to see you in here. I appreciate it. Nicholas, thanks, buddy. Out of the three titanium, which one wins fist fight? Well, if it's a street fight, I would say down and dirty, probably rock scale. It's got a dirty name. It's got crazy contours and the million as well. The Kershaw Sprint Blur. I, is that the one they just posted like today? Blade Manor. I saw a couple people post it, and then like the I had lunch break and like at work and like Instagram was down, so I'm like, well, there you go. You guys like the red thumb studs? What's up, Winchester? Oh, Morgan, dang man, you got to bring that up. How's the five thirty five two thousand one going? Ah. Oh. It cleared customs today. I should have called Slicey. I should have called Slicey and had him go, you know, take care of some business for me back there in New York. It literally sat in customs since the 20, no, since the 10th or the 9th. And it just cleared customs today. And I have no updates since saying it cleared customs. So I don't know, man. I hope good. You got yours, man. You can talk about it. It's awesome, huh? 
We were talking about it earlier. That's amazing stuff. Good, good stuff. Oh, really? Not just from China? Oh, okay. Don't bother none. Hey, welcome. I got a cool little flashlight from our buddy Morgan there. Got two of them. But this one's the uh, the Rovi Vaughn, and this is the 550 lumen one, the Aurora. Yeah, I use it. Heck yeah, I use it. I might get another one if one comes up, but like it has to be stateside, you know, or a really, really good deal. Because this is kind of crazy. What were you looking for the price on? Jack, this flashlight's amazing. 550 lumens, and it's like that big, literally. One strand of Chuck Norris's chest. It's got different modes, too. Oh, cool, Morgan. Yeah, man, I love to be set up with the dealers. It's got a little micro USB charging port on the back. This is the hotness right here. Yeah, it's it's a it's about the same size with it. Benchmade gold class mini crooked river buyer pass up buy. Buy. Get try to get a good deal on it, but buy. Oh, that's cool, Bunzo. Take him to a rescue place. Oh, that's very nice of you. Chuck, it won't rust. <laughs> you guys talking about Chuck Norris's hair or something? Or his teeth? Yeah, exactly, Boney. Man, I need some international Benchmade knives. It was, it's so funny because, seriously, I talked to you, um, Benchmade, when they first got dropped on those internationals. And I've, I've bought a bunch of the internationals. And it's one of those... And, oh, Nicholas, by the way, I don't know if Chad's still in here from... Uh, Southern Edge Knife Works. But Chad might be able to hook you up if he has one. Or knows somebody that has one of those. Because they were on there. He might be able to get you a little bit of a, of a deal. Find one for you. Those Gold Class Mini Kruger Rivers. I have one and it's amazing. So... That's funny. Spider monkey. Yeah, dude. Spider monkey's rock, man. I got one right here. Which one did you get? This is the USA made blade specialty. This is the one that bit me good on my ring finger in this hand. So the discount code for Southern Edge Knife Works is Zach15. Z-A-C-H-1-5. Just go to southernedgeknifeworks.com. I can't find my little card right now because I brought so much stuff into my office. Uh, I'll probably go here another 10, 15 minutes if that works for you guys. I was going to try to do that build on camera, but we got into all the stuff that people sent in. We got looking at some cool titanium knives, looking at the meat crafter, looking at this cool AFO that Big Red gifted me. So awesome, man. Thank you. You know, the older Benchmades, I don't have in my collection. So, you know, just that, that 940 from 20 years ago is, was my original. And, you know, I didn't start collecting until probably three years ago or so. Yeah, it's a Centauri in here. Randall says, do you know a place to get custom backspacers? I'm looking for orange ones for my 710. I'm not sure who's going to make any for the 710. You can always reach out to the uh, – oh, thanks, Nicholas – to the uh, the people that are making the custom parts, like Rock Scale Design. Oh, thanks, Big Red. Yeah, that's my discount code right there. It gives you 15% off and free shipping in the U.S. Can't be that, man. Yeah, the Anthem's on thrust bearings. It's just smooth. Super smooth. I mean, here's it compared to the Access Lock Titanium. Yeah, Gregory, uh, Big Red just posted the code just a second ago. Zach15, Z-A-C-H-1-5 is the code. Gets you 15% off. 
international shipping it knocks it down to $15.99 so pretty good overall on all that stuff so pretty awesome hey hey Mick good to see you thanks for dropping in nice Nicholas signed up with Big Red right on yeah you know I've, I've been collecting for three years so it's pretty good I started with uh, 940 and then some Griptilians I'm sure they could do anything engineering wise I mean they just put an auto on one so you know who they you know and that's dang near the same size as the original so uh, this is Forsetti Steel, F-O-R-S-E-T-I. There you go, Nicholas, right on. Two fantastic channels. All handmade Damascus blade out of Utah, buffalo bone, hand carved. Liner lock, pretty sweet, jeweled liners. Yeah, Gregory, the deck is nice. But these are on sale right now. They were $130, they are now $97, so... You know, if you're looking for a nice gift, they make crazy different handles. So, really nice of them to send it out. Oh, JT. Very nice. I don't know if, if you're in the live stream or not, but... Oh, August, what is, what is it? What are you having? I'm down. Yeah, you can dial in that 940 just the same. I had my... So, I had mine uh, serviced... After it came back from Metal Complex, and so they tightened it all up. I don't know what he did to it, but I think it was mixed in with a protein shake or something. But no, I love that guy. He's so he's like wild, man. He's got the energy of like ten people. Oh, a little bourbon, nice, nice. Love that. All right. Well, any other questions or anything? Or like I said, I'll be doing this build here shortly. And I don't know, do you guys want me to record this? You guys have seen a whole bunch of these swap outs, so I'll probably just do the swap out on this without recording it. Yeah, that's good. Forsetti with one T. F-O-R-S-E-T-I steel.com. Bring the bail out and do a comparison with the meat crafter. Okay. Do I still use the fact? I have a regular fact that I use at work. One of the ones with the aluminum black scales. Uh, Chris, you said something with the tie hardware for the bug out. Yeah, that went in one of my last giveaways. It's pretty good though. So, but yeah, Chris donated those. Chris. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. But I think, actually, you know what? Actually, no, that was the green ones. You sent me the blue, right? All right, Jack, have a good night. We'll get it. We'll get, we'll get you. We'll get you on that. I'm, I, I have a giveaway thing that's going with it. That's why. What's my number one go-to work knife? I think right now, um, Probably the Super Freak. I carry it at work a lot. The only one that's been close second has been the the Presidio with the CF Elite scales. Oh, ST Vapes. You really you spent all over grand last month? Yeah, that's a, you know, I can't admit to anything on that. Then it's going to be recorded, you know? Yeah, the blue ones. So I have the blue ones for a giveaway. But I can't share what which one. But there might be a million view, million subscriber view giveaway coming up this week. I appreciate that, Nicholas. You have a fine, outstanding one right there. Gregory says, Zach, did you buy yourself a mini Super Freak? Yeah, I bought it right here. I actually bought two of them. Oh, nice, Bunzo. First one this year, right on. Grimsmo Norseman? I don't have one of those. Yep, sounds good. Yeah, buddy, Jack. All right, let's get some stuff to give away. How about that? 
We'll do a little giveaway. We'll do a little guess of numbers. We'll talk about how to do it here in just a minute. We'll see what we're going to do with the giveaway. Yeah, man, he's he's got it going with that knife build, and it's amazing. Yeah, Randall, I would check in with Rockscale. He'd probably make them, or you could get a hold of Adrian down in Australia. He'd, uh, he'd probably do them as well. So we're going to get an all-weather, right in the rain notebook from right in the rain. You're going to get some Zach swag. You're going to get... Yeah, just EM them on that. You're going to get from Mighty Hanks. I picked up one of these camo Mighty Hanks. He tossed in a sticker. So you can get Mighty Hanks swag. So you're going to get that as well. Oh, heck yeah. I'll pass that on to Big Red. Heck yeah. So you got that stuff going on. And our good buddy Rodney Pearson, he donated one of these UV i3 UV lights from Olight. Five-year warranty. These things are awesome. Great for checking for scorpions. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. Nicholas, man, you've been so kind tonight. Thank you so much. Man, all that stuff just goes to support things like I did this last weekend. You know, like I said, if you missed Saturday Knife Live, go back and check it out on Big Red's channel, uh, Big Red EDC, because I, I dropped in a surprise at his house. I brought some giveaway items on top of what he gave away. We had a master monster giveaway. It was great. Um, oh, cool. He's going to do Presidio part soon. Right on, Tyler. Yeah, he said he was working on a bunch of stuff, so that's so awesome. And speaking of Adrian, uh, I'm also going to give a pin away, but I can't find it right now. So I'm going to throw a pin in with this stuff too because you have to be able to have something to write with. And But Adrian sent me a set of these as well, red thumb studs, eh? And said, this is free for your giveaway on your YouTube channel. So I'm like, hey, with my last order, he tossed these in. He's like, I'm going to throw something special in there. So I'm like, let's do it. Oh, Chris, thanks, man. Yeah, buddy, we'll get some steak this week, definitely. That's the that's the exciting thing. Like, if we can make this RV trip happen. <laughs> You're entertaining, Nicholas, definitely entertaining. We'll just bring the channel to you, right? We'll, we'll do a fly over to you. Big Red and I will come see you. We'll get it going. I like that. Thank you so much, Chris. And Chris is an amazing person on the channel as well. He donated some hardware, some titanium hardware. It's anodized blue um, for a bug out. And so it kind of goes to show what may be coming up on a giveaway shortly. <laughs> but that's the coolest stuff. So we're going to give these things away tonight. It's a little giveaway. Um, because I did two big giveaways this week already. Uh, one was Big Red's EDC. Um, big Red EDC did the Saturday Night Live giveaway with that. Surprised him on that. That was awesome. And then um, I also donated to our friend at Shadowborn Hanks. Oh, ST Vapes, thanks, man. Oh, much love, man. One, one YouTuber to another. Right on. But yeah, definitely. <laughs> Nicholas, you want your name on the board too? I'm gonna hold on. I'm gonna go get my. I'm gonna go get my my tablet. I'm gonna donate. Um, thank you again. Thank you. Um, that's just gonna make for a better giveaway next time. All your guys' donations go right back to the channel, right back to my giveaways. And I'll tell you what, the one that he did on Shadowborn Hanks. Hopefully, you guys won something on that, or at least knew somebody that won something, like knew one of the people that that won because I threw in an amazing, you know, bunch of stuff and mini bug out and all sorts of stuff that's awesome so ace tone don't feel so cheap everybody's a millionaire in my eyes oh yeah definitely so he has a brand new channel as well so you can go to xxx adrenaline but adrenaline has no e on it and then xxx.com um i'll try to put up a link here in just a few as soon as we get done with this giveaway because i want to the people that are hanging around i want to get them the giveaway and then I'll post that up. I will also post a link in the description. You can also email me, zach.edc at gmail.com. And I will send you his direct email and his website. So you guys are amazing tonight. This is the best round of Super Chats I've ever had. So I'm, I'm like floored, man. This is so crazy. 
He has an eBay page as well. It's out of Australia. So it takes a little bit to uh, get shipped. But yeah, you just have some funness. So, all right. So we got almost 60 of you guys in here. Thank you so much, Big Red. That's so awesome. I had a blast uh, visiting with him, man. You guys don't understand. Like, it was like seeing your your best buddy you haven't seen in 10 years. But I saw him in like October or whatever. Oh, no. I saw you sooner than that. It was like February or something, right? January, February. You got you and Justin came out and we did a tour at Benchmade. Yeah, right on. Oh, yeah. We we uh, I jumped in on a Saturday Night Live. I literally surprised him. Um, I got a hold of his wife ahead of time and I said, "Hey, I'm coming over to your house at ten o'clock at night, and I want you to knock on the door and tell him there's a visitor here." And so I jumped in on it. So it was awesome. Yeah, February. We had an awesome time. I want to do that again, but we need to film this time. Oh, Nicholas, dude, icing on the cake, man. Oh, so amazing. All right, this is inspiring me. So I'm going to load up this million subscriber or million view, million subscriber view giveaway. Oh, thanks, Gavin. Yeah, that's his eBay store right there. And I'll put all his info down below, but. Yeah, the Roby Vaughn flashlights are awesome. Thanks to Morgan for sending those up. I know I'm super behind on getting those reviewed, so thanks for being patient. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to write down a number between 250 and 700 on this paper. Everybody only gets one guess. And wait until you see Big Red put start on the screen. But between 250... What did I say? 250 and 700? I'll write it down so I don't forget. That pen's out of ink. Well, that you guys won't get a guess out of that one. <laughs> so between 250 and 700, you'll guess one number in there. And whoever's the closest is going to win this giveaway package right here. And I'm also going to include a pen. I just don't have it set aside. So thank you guys so much, man. Oh, you purchased the SOCP because of my channel? Yeah, I like it. And that mini is cool, but uh, it's all made for certain uses. So I would love to see the what they did on that uh, that holster, though, and everything, and the pocket clip and the how and all that. I'd love to see that on the big one. So, yeah, thumbs up the vid. So here's the paper. Oh, that's the 250. Okay. As I say, you can see numbers on there, but I wrote the 250 to 700 on there. So let me make sure I put the right number on there. Hold on. Let me double check now. Oh, man. Seal is the best, dude. Oh, my gosh. That's amazing, man. You're way too nice, dude. Way too nice. Thank you so much, man. You're awesome, dude. And, and honestly, the joy that you've brought to me is awesome. And it extends to everybody else in this that supports my channel and watches. Because you literally go through and, like... Just, you support all this stuff, and I, I am very grateful for that. So, thank you. Seriously, thank you. So, yeah, exactly. Mind blown, Jeff. My mind is seriously blown. So, seriously the best one. So, Nicholas, thank you so much. Yeah. Boom. All right. I had to make sure I got the number on there because I don't know if I put it on there or not. And so it's on there now. No, man, no, nothing's chump change at all. Even you guys just being here is awesome, you guys. The community itself is amazing. I mean, just what people have done in the last six months for the knife community has been amazing. I mean, I don't have to go into all the things that people have done to help support, you know, Nick's family and support Vern and support all these people that in our community need help and their families need help. So yeah, I need, I asked for membership stuff and it's approved. So I got to set it up now and get it going. You guys, you guys will have some fun with it. I'm just trying to get out, like trying to figure out what the tiers will be and kind of what you guys will get out of it. Cause I want you guys to get something out of a membership. So yes, we're getting started. Sorry, too much talking start. There it is. Big red started it. Thanks, you guys, so much. Everybody gets one guess. Hollywood Tactical. 
funny, but <laughs> between 250 and 700, closest person to it. We got a couple of repeaters in there. People guessing the same ones. Good guesses though. Nicholas, right on. Randall. I see Parker. All you guys guessing. Brewers here. What's up, buddy? Hey, did you see I got the knife on there? That's amazing, dude. That knife is crazy. I I didn't I didn't even realize I would like that, man. Thank you so much. I like the design of that. I'm gonna have to get the carbon fiber one now. And try that out. Do something with this one too. But yeah, that, you guys are awesome, man. So hopefully you guys are all getting your guess in. 535 is a good guess. Artisan Blade got a good guess. Andrew's got a good guess. All you guys got good guesses, but only one hopefully can be the closest. I'll give it another minute or two here till everybody catches up and gets their gets their selection in. And then we'll we'll get an official stop on there. Won't take any more so any more guesses after that. Baby boy, Matthew W's in. Gavin's in, Chris is in, Chris Blue, thanks again, man. I was holding out on those too, but uh, yeah, if you if you want you want to donate to Nick, uh, man, I need to send out another another gift gift package to you, Nick. Seriously, man, that's so so awesome. But seriously, on that anthem, if they haven't shipped it yet, cancel that order, man. Get a hold of me tomorrow. I'll go personally pick one up for you, send it to you. I'll get you a crazy deal. I'll say I want I want the Nick's Nick's deal. Actually, I want my deal. Give me Zach's deal. I want to give it to Nicholas. Sean, what's up, Sean? Kane, you guys all got your guesses in there. Right on, right on. All right, so I think we're gonna be good. Big Red, if you're still on there, thank you so much, man. Much love, dude. It was so awesome. I wish uh, I was I was super excited for the surprise part of it, but ah, man, thanks, Nicholas. So we're gonna go ahead and put a stop to the the guesses. We're gonna go back and see who got the closest. Uh, I said it was between two fifty and seven hundred. It was three three seven. So we'll see who got the closest. We'll go back through. I didn't see anybody guess it right on. You know, I saw Scott Simmons with uh, 322. Nicholas had 380, 371 from Blackwell Gavin. Or Gavin Blackwell. Mean Gene was in there in the 400s. 357's close from DG Reed. So 357 is 20 off. 322. It's probably going to be the closest one there, huh? From Scott. So that's the closest one I see right now. I'll go back and double check as well. Oh, thanks, buddy. Oh, Dengar had 350. Okay. Yeah, because that's going to be 13 off. Let me just go back. I missed it on here. The weird part about these is I didn't have my tablet pulled up and it, it posts those comments weird on the live feed. So anyway, so if that's it, if that's the one, then I will lock that in. And if it's Dengar, then get in touch with me, buddy. You get a nice little gift set here, including a pen, including red thumb studs, which everybody's after right now. You can bling out your knives. You can put them on all sorts of stuff. Make them look good. You guys, honestly, look forward to the, the million view subscriber giveaway this week. I want to put some good stuff on there. I need to go to the Benchmade and get something else to put in there. 
Oh, yeah, hotel room, exactly. Thank you guys, seriously. Nicholas, everyone who is here tonight, everyone who gave to the Super Chat, thank you so much. You guys are awesome. Thanks for joining me on a Monday night. I know you've been here for a while with me. Um, it wasn't really planned because I this surprise for this weekend was good and amazing. So, Jack, thanks for hanging out. Sorry about your AC, man. Thank you, Nicholas. You guys have a good night. Please do something kind for someone this week. You guys have done amazing things for me this week. I'm trying to give back as much as I can. Congratulations, Den. Jeff, thank you so much. Thanks, CK. CG, thank you. Yes, congrats. Penny, good to chat with you. Definitely need to meet up with you guys. we got to plan that soon. Mick, Big Red, August, Justin, OCD for EDC. Thank you so much. Thanks again, Gregory, Kevin, Winchester. You guys have a good night. Acetone, thank you so much. Yeah, have a great week. Do something kind for someone. ST Vapes, thank you again. Be safe, Nicholas. And I'm serious about that anthem. Let me know. I'll get it. I'll get one tomorrow and, and literally take it right to the post office. Overnight it. You guys have a good night. Gavin, Mean Gene, Chris, pay it forward. You guys are amazing. Thank you guys so much. Have a great week. Take care, you guys.